Now to the Maurice Claret portion of the program. There is no definitive date on which Ohio State must respond to the NCAA. The only definite, the university's recommendation for how many games he should be suspended for won't come until at least next week. So what's a sophomore with some free time on his hands to do? How about sue the NFL? Could happen. Claret's attorney says the running back is considering challenging the rule that doesn't allow players to be eligible for its draft until they've been out of high school at least three years. To the field, thankfully, Southern Miss at Alabama, Birmingham is seen on ESPN2. Quarterback Darrell Hackney, they split him out to the left the start of the second quarter. Lance Rhodes is going to take the snap. How's this going to work out? Not that well. Turns it upfield and fumbles. It's recovered by Southern Miss. After the turnover, Southern Miss second and six inside the 45. Mickey D'Angelo, you want to see a nice ball? Right there. Marvin Young just has to stick his hands out, 42-yard grab. That would lead to a Tim Blackwell touchdown. Still in the second after another UAB turnover. D'Angelo play action to Terrell Broden for the touchdown. D'Angelo at 197 yards passing. What is the point of play action for a thousand years? Watch this. You freeze the linebackers. Exactly. That's exactly what happens there. Allows Broden to get behind the linebackers and make the big play. I've got an idea. Let's meet Rod Davis, an All-American candidate. Great idea. Southern Miss junior linebacker, two-time All-American, and a member of the 2003 Playboy preseason All-America team. A pretty good team to be a part of, I would imagine. Hackney calling his own number in the fourth quarter. Davis is there to make the stop. Southern Miss a winner. 17 to 12. They pack 10 against the WAC. Beavers favored by about nine points. Fourth quarter. Oregon State up 14 13. Going for the chippy field goal. It's blocked. But then Fresno State is called for a penalty. What happened? Well, watch the replay. That's fine. That's fine. But right there, throwing the ball forward, Bryce McGill, that's a penalty. Oregon State goes for it, gives it to their stud, Steven Jackson. But Pat Hill's defense, they shut up and they hit somebody. 220 left. Jeff Grady rolling. He's going to find Bernard Berrien. Sick all week. Lost eight pounds. He's already scored six points. Same drive. Field goal, 36 seconds. Brett Vicentainer, 47-yarder. It's good. And the Raising Kings beat the Beavers 16-14.